Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you how to manually throw an exception. So how can we throw an exception within the code, not something that has triggered the exception, but we are actually manually from the exception. We can do that by doing something like we just put throw. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll just, no, we'll change a bit. So we'll enclose this in, a, in, a, in an if statement. So we'll say if, do, do. Let me grab this print side of here. So if let's say num one equals a hundred, maybe it can't equal a hundred, for example. Um, we will say else, you know, we'll do all of this. But if it does, we're gonna throw an exception. So we can say throw new, then we can throw the whatever exception that we want, you know, any particular exception that is built in and I'm just going to throw a format exception a format exception and as you can see num1 is not 100 hence why it's not thrown so if I change num1 to 100 now it goes to the catch block and the format exception is thrown so what we can also do is put an on so on Format exception, and then we could print some code out saying num like let's say number cannot be one hundred. If you watch any of my previous videos, for a couple of them, I was using JDoodle just because Dart Lang for some reason wasn't working with the on block. I've tried in IntelliJ and other editors that you would actually use to create applications using the Dart programming language and it works fine. For some reason Dart pad it just wasn't working. So I'm just gonna do it in JDoodle and I'll copy that paste of it. So if I run that now we get number cannot be 100. So this on block picks up this manual exception that we have from. So if we want to you know throw some sort of exception based on some specific scenario we can do that as well and then handle it accordingly so that's how you throw you know a manual exception simple stuff but if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video